Hey guys, welcome back to part 5. <clears throat> I'm actually not going to be playing this part or part 6. My friend Robert's here. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I'm going to let him play. Uh, you might hear me talk in the background a little bit. But, yeah. The next couple parts aren't going to be me. So, just enjoy the video. Welcome to part 5, guys. This is actually my first time playing the game. So, sit back, enjoy, and relax. I might not talk as much as he does. So, let's get going. He did it again. He did it again. I knew that that guard was up to no good. When I received my food yesterday, I found a worm, in worm inside the mashed potatoes. Disgusting. I know that. It's the guard. Because when he has the tray of food to me, he says, eat up buttercup with this evil look in his eye I'll gauge I'll gouge his eyes out tomorrow I'm gonna say something really quick <clears throat> you might be hearing stuff in the background and my parents are actually watching Frozen <laughs> so sorry about that Hey, bitch. Well, this walking in this room was pointless. Really? I walked right back in the same room. Prisoner 203 was refusing to stay quiet just before lights out tonight. He was screaming about some dark shadow coming from his from him or something or another. Crazy bastard has been putting the other inmates on the edge. I decided to put him in the hole for a month. Baxter will keep an eye on him while he's down there. Lieutenant Paul Arkin. This guy really sounds like a crackhead. Is to run. <clears throat> Just so you know. <laughs> oh. Um. He's re stuff in the last part. I don't know why. I don't know why either, but. Bert Augustine stopped showing up for his shifts almost two weeks ago. His supervisors believed he'd walk off the job as Mr. Augustine made several complaints about hearing female voices in the halls. However, a maintenance worker clearing the rust off the sewer gates smelled something terrible coming out of the tunnel by the docks and investigated, finding Mr. Augustine's manipulated remains. Well then, that's something that I don't think anybody wants to find.
Oh my god. What's that? That bitch is one ugly son of a bun. If one of them ever pop up, push right on the deep head. <clears throat> Baxter reports that the lights down in solitary confinement are flickering and that some are turning off at times. I have sent request to maintenance to take a look at it. Even in the hole, Prisoner 203 is causing problems. He was found trying to gouge his eyes out. I had Baxter and a few of the night shifts put him in a straitjacket for now. I will be calling the asylum tomorrow to have some of their people come check him out. The man's trust right, not right. He still insists that something is in the cell with him, Lieutenant Paul Harkner. That popped up in the last video. Again, this game's random whenever you try to load back in. <clears throat> so I don't know why it's redoing all the stuff again that I've already got. Oh shit! <laughs> that was worse than anything I've had happen to Oh, my hands are starting to sweat now. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, I, I completely agree. This game... Oh my god. That was bad. I don't know if we can accept any more inmates. It's gotten to the point where we have four inmates in to a cell. Working the front desk, I see every single one come in, and each one looks crazier than the last one. I'm not sure how much longer this penitentiary can operate at this capacity, Gilbert. <laughs> oh my god! Oh! <laughs> This bitch needs to die. Oh, there's one right there in front of you. See it? Where? Uh, oh. Right the door, the oh. That's the last one. Oh shit. Oh. Fuck this bitch. Oh, fuck you. I see it, Sarah. The sigil oh. is here. Paul, there's something strange going on with this prisoner 203. Last night, Bert and I heard him shrieking. It almost didn't sound like him. The shrieking died off when we reached the cell. But he was still screaming. It was like the two ro two sounds were separated. I don't know how he's doing it, but it's giving me the willies. He screams whenever the lights stri start flickering. The man ain't right. Paul and the other prisoners are pleading for him to send pleading for me to send him back upstairs. I don't know what the hell to do with this guy. Officer Baxter Kelsey. Alright, I'm gonna tell you. Uh, zoom out. I'll just keep zooming. You'll see like a green... Oh, it's gone. <laughs> oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck you, bitch. 
Fuck you, bitch. I'm gonna have to go back to where you can. Damn. Duh. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. 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 This bitch is crazy. No bitch. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh mother of god. Numerous reports of electrical outrage. Outages, cells, doors opening and closing on their own, and other electrical issues have been logged and reported. Maintenance will be conducting tests on the prison wiring and circuit boards tomorrow. Fuck this bitch. God, where's the key? <laughs> I am never screwed. I have no other way to run. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch! I'm gonna die. This bitch can save me. Oh my god. <laughs> this bitch is crazy. Alright, do you want to stop that there and start the next part? Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, next part's gonna be up, I don't know when, sometime soon. Share.